have decided to extend the IUI camp for the month of June as well. Patients have been extremely happy and we have been able to give them good success rates due to which we have decided to increase the time for this IUI camp. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Can you get pregnant with an abnormal semen analysis report? As in your semen factors showed that your sperms were abnormal, but do you still have chances of getting pregnant? Let's try to understand the options that you have with an abnormal semen analysis report. Now, semen analysis is a test which is done on sperms, and it is the first line test which is test which is done on sperms, and it is the first line formed with an abstinence period of three days. As in the gap between the last ejaculate should not be less than three days and not then more than seven days less than three days there is a chance that we may get lesser number of uh, sperms in the uh, semen uh, that we collect or more than seven days could mean that the motility could come down uh, and uh, we could be giving a compromise report so less than three days and not more than uh, seven days is what we are looking at so it should be after three days and before seven days now semen analysis is uh, done in a andrology laboratory where uh, it is analyzed uh, on special instruments and microscopes and uh, the report is given uh, not just you know on microscopic evaluation but also on macroscopic as in how does it uh, look uh, by way of color what is the ph what is the uh, time for liquefaction as in when the ejaculate is received it is received as a very sticky medium and after about uh, one hour or so that is the maximum time it liquefies it becomes a very watery uh, solution and that's when the analysis begins so that is the macroscopic evaluation under microscopic evaluation we look at the count motility and morphology of the sperms that are there now if the semen analysis report has revealed that the count is lesser than what it should be according to the world health organization uh, which is the concentration 15 million per ml and if the motility is less than 40 percent which is to say that the progressive and the non-progressive together are 40 percent uh, in the report and the morphology is at least four percent are normal uh, in the sample if they do not adhere to this standard given to us by the who uh, guidelines then it is supposed to be an abnormal semen analysis report. Now let's see what your treatment options are. The first one is definitely a hormone evaluation. Testosterone levels are checked, FSH levels are checked. We look to see if you have diabetes. We look at many other parameters. If prolactin is high, if thyroid is high or low, all these things are evaluated and treatment can be given for these medical conditions. Now the second one is IUI, intrauterine insemination. This is a treatment when the semen analysis reveals that the sperms are of substandard quality and quantity. So when the count is not too good, but after the procedure of uh, sperm preparation, the count is a minimum of 9 million and the motility is at least a minimum of 40% and IUI can be conducted. IUI is when this washed, prepared, only the efficient sperms are put into the uterus the chance of success then increases by about 15 to 20 percent based on the woman's age so that is intrauterine insemination you can make out you can understand from what i have explained that this procedure relies on definitely the count but entirely on the motility if the motility is low then this procedure cannot be given as an option to the patient but there is a wonderful technique called ivf in vitro fertilization which is uh, more or less the answer to all kinds of semen parameters uh, if they are lower than what is expected if the count is extremely low it's called severe oligozoospermia if there are very few also if there are zero also and we could still extract them from the testis such sperms can be used for ivf within that there is a procedure called ICSI where each sperm is put into a single egg so that can be done if the motility is low the motility can be enhanced by specialized solutions and only the motile ones can be used for the purpose of ivf or ICSI then there is the problem of morphology where even if uh, just one percent are good we can still look for that one percent of normal morphology sperms and use for ICSI so there are solutions to an abnormal semen analysis uh, that you have encountered that you are going through but remember one thing a single semen analysis report does not mean that your sperms are not good 
please repeat the same analysis in uh, another three days and definitely if the same, same laboratory is used then the results can be consistent also remember that a fertility center is better at diagnosing uh, semen analysis giving us out a semen analysis report than any other center so therefore choose your place for semen analysis very wisely a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you